What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into today's little vlog, I just want to update you on the Hellcat. So, still need to put the bumper back on. Like I said, we got the ZL1 add-ons, little splitter washers on, under there. Can't really see them from here, but it's holding the bumper up off the ground. And uh, the meth kit is out. It's been unplugged for a long time, but it's finally out of the car. Still need to plug the tank though. Um, update, I was about to make a video about installing shorter sway bar end links because on a Challenger, you need shorter sway bar end links to run 17s in the back. However, for a Charger, you do not. Challenger, you do. So instead, I was waiting on them to come in and I wanted to get to the track, so I just threw on a cheap little spacer, which is not the right way to do it, but it worked for the purposes that I had it for. Um, but the shortest sway bar end links finally came in. I don't think I have them in here, but uh, ordered them from HHP. They're just like 50 bucks, something like that. I am actually, yeah, I don't have them in here. Oh, here they are. I'll show you them real quick, wrapped in this sweet newspaper. So literally, they just take a sway bar end link, cut it, and re-weld it. This is from, like I said, HHP. So you need those to run 17s on a Hellcat. But, I have decided to switch the wheel and tire setup so I will no longer be needing these shorter sway bar end links. Uh, a friend of mine from Lubbock, I know you're watching this video, um, he's actually going to put my drag setup on his Hellcat. And uh, so, it should hook up really good for him. It worked really well for me, I was cutting one fives. Um, at a shitty track off of idle. I wasn't even launching the car. I was literally just going from idle and I was cutting one five sixty foots on these 17s and I think I've only ran them three or four times um, because the whole transmission deal kind of kicked me out of the track for a little bit, but so they're essentially new tires um, They got good tread wear on them. So he's gonna take the skinnies and uh, He's gonna also take the 17s in the rear so those no longer are going to be on the car. They're actually going to be coming off this weekend and I'll be taking them to Lubbock for his Hellcat. So I'll be making a video on that. I'm um, not going to tell you what I'm doing, but I will no longer be needing the shortest sway bar end links and the 17s for the Sneaky Cat. Update coming soon. Let's get into the vlog. So today's video is actually about this thing right here. This guy right there. So I just got back from working out. I'm about to eat some lunch and then I'll head back to the gym to train some more people. But I wanted to talk about yesterday, the last demon was finally produced. Um, they always, I think almost all companies do it, but they kind of do a little going away thing where they take pictures and everyone from the plant working on the car uh, gets to take a picture with the car. So I'm gonna upload those here and that'll also probably be the thumbnail. But uh, yeah, the last Dodge Demon was finally made. And there was 3,300 made, 15 of the VINs were canceled. Um, and I'm gonna go over the colors right now because I have a number for each color, which is kind of cool and you can kind of see the rarity of each color. And uh, yeah, we can kind of see how rare each color actually is, which was surprising to me. Um, I figured Plum Crazy Purple would actually be a lot more rare than some of the other colors such as yellow or uh, the billet or the bullet, which is like a silver. Um, but they're actually, the purple is actually not as rare as you think. They just made them later, so uh, they're just now coming out, which made people think that they were more rare. So what I want to talk today to you guys about is, do you think the demons will go up in value with how many were made? They're already done being produced. Um, they're still for sale. Now, there, there's a few, there's a good chunk out there. I want to say there's 10 to 12 for sale right now um, within eBay and dealerships. Um, so if you just go on eBay and search Dodge Demon for sale, you'll find about 10 to 12, I think, right now. That number's changing every day, but there's already people asking $500,000 for these cars. Um, now, are they worth it? I don't think at the time they are, but, you know, moving forward later on, I think they'll definitely get up there. Do I think they'll break a million? It, you know, it really depends on how many demons actually... Um, survive, you know, like how many get, you know, there's going to be some that get totaled. There's going to be some that people, you know, they blow parts on them and they just sit in people's garages and they're not worth anymore because, you know, they don't have the original parts in them and, you know, stuff happens. Um, it's inevitable, especially if you're driving them. Even if you have them in a garage, you know, it's inevitable. Something could still happen to it. Um, less likely, but something could still happen to it. So I really just want to start a conversation in the comments on what you think these demons are going to be worth and uh, do you think they're worth that much now? I think 
Um, you know, it sucks you still got to pay over sticker right now. There's a few that people have found for sticker, but you know, if I had the opportunity and if I had the money, I think I'd pay about 110 at the most for one that's completely specked out. And I'm, I'm talking out the door with taxes and dealer fee and all that bullshit they get you for, but uh, I think about 110 max is good. Um, it's just, it is a rare car. I mean, it's essentially a really fixed up Hellcat with a warranty. And uh, it's got some of the coolest features that you wouldn't find on any car. I mean, it's it's the fastest quarter mile production car ever made. Now, the fact that, you know, will a civilian, you know, a regular person ever, <laughs> ever run a 965? Mm, probably not. <laughs> not unless you're on, uh, you know, I don't even know, perfect, perfect weather. Um, you've had a ton of time at the track. I mean, people haven't even figured out the trans brake yet, so. You know, and there's people that have gone 9899 um, stock demons. Obviously, there's fixed up demons so, such as SRT Mush, um, a couple of Tim Barth's guys. They've got fixed up demons. They're all kind of chasing the record with Hennessy, which is cool to see. Um, you know, those ones probably won't be worth as much, obviously, because they're fixed up. And, uh, you know, the stock demons will really go for a lot of money. I, I think, though, personal opinion, I think it's going to be a long time, but I'd say, like, you know, 20, 25, maybe even 30 years down the road, um, you'll see those cars really expand in value. I think seeing them go for half a million is, is definitely possible, especially with the way, you know, the EPA standards are changing. People aren't even making V8s anymore. They're doing, you know, I had a Ford, but they're, you know, they're kind of pussing out and they're doing V8s with twin turbos, which is cool. I mean, V6s with twin turbos, which is cool. But, uh, you know, you're kind of getting away from that true American muscle, that V8, and uh, I think with the less amount of cars coming with V8s, it'll make these cars more rare. Like, I think the Hellcat prices will go back up. They're, they're in a slump right now. I mean, you can get a used Hellcat in the 40s, um, which is really cheap because, you know, brand new, they were upwards of 72,000 without markup. Um, they're like 65 to 72,000 depending on spec and without markup and when the Hellcats first came out No one probably remembers but they were there was dealers marking them up and people were paying over stickers So I think the same thing the Hellcats will go up back in price um, Once they're all sold, you know, they just made an abundance of them. Will they ever make the Dodge Demon again? Um, I, I'm sure like somewhere later on down the road. I don't think next year they'll make one people have said they'll make one next year I don't think so I think it was the halo car for the year and uh, they'll wait a while before another demon or something else comes out but uh, Dodge is always always surprising us and it's really hard to say what they're doing um, I think their marketing team is by far better than anyone else they have the coolest commercials they have the best Instagram the best Facebook um, they're really about their consumers and uh, they make badass cars they make badass cars now you know not to get too far off subject but Corvettes and all that and Mustangs and the GT500, the ZR1, those cars are really cool. Um, but Dodge stepped out of the comfort zone and went for a demon. Um, you know, and I think Chevy realized that and they brought the ZR1 out and they, you know, they really surpassed things. I mean, you're coming out with cars that are 750 horsepower, 840 horsepower from the factory. And 10 years ago, your cars half of that power were fast. So it's just crazy to see what. Um, these manufacturers are able to do and what people are wanting to buy and I think it's really cool So like I said, just want to start a conversation what you guys think in the comments below what these demons will go for But the last Dodge demon was made and it was a black one um, Which is actually the most popular color. I'm gonna go over the color numbers here in just a second so and I'll upload this little graph chart I got but so pitch black 684 pitch black demons 630 of the tour red which is the color that came out with the commercial um, which i thought would be the most popular because that's the color that it was released in but it's actually the black um, destroyer gray 266 plum crazy purple 261 i thought it would be a lot more rare than that so my chances of getting one down the road are pretty pretty good actually um, the orange, which I've yet to see, the Go Mango, 252. The white, which looks really good, I've seen that one in person, 202. Octane Red, which is not my favorite color, I think, uh, I don't think it's that spectacular, but um, I liked it when it first came out, but I think there's some other colors that are better, especially for a Demon. But Octane Red is a really cool color 
in a, I think in a Charger, it's my favorite. Uh, 173 of the Octane Red, 149 of B5 Blue. I'm not a huge fan of B5 Blue, but in the Demon, I think it looks really good. FA Green, which has really grown on me, 135. That's a cool color. And some people think it looks like, you know, baby puke shit green, but in person it looks really cool. Yellow Jacket, which is Kevin's, 132. So Kevin's got a pretty rare color. Red Line 3, I haven't seen that. It's kind of a darker orange, really bright red. I'd say a darker orange. Haven't seen that though, so I don't know for sure. Indigo Blue, which is a really nice color. Only 99 of those. Um, 125 of the Red Line 3, by the way. The Billet Silver, 88. Billet Silver, which silver is kind of a plain color, but I think in the Demon it would look really good. Black wheels, um, you know, tinted, everything blacked out. I think it would look really good. The Granite, only 87. And uh, Maximum Steel, which is a really, really dark gray, almost black, only 32. The second most rare color is Granite at 87, and Maximum Steel, the absolute most rare color of a Demon, 32 made. If you have Maximum Steel, hold on to that. Um, that's insane, I think. But, uh, so, total made was, or total was 3315, it was supposed to be 3300, um, but 15 canceled VINs, which were not delivered, so, but yeah, this, this graph is really cool, I'll upload a picture here in just a second, uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys' thoughts are below, if you haven't seen a demon, you need to see one in person, if you haven't ridden in one, don't talk shit, because you need to go ride in one, it's like driving a fixed up Hellcat, but it's quieter, more supercharger noise, not a lot of exhaust noise, and it's got a warranty, so you can beat the shit out of it, and it's got a warranty, which is really cool, because, you know, you go beat the shit out of your Hellcat, and you mod it, well, you've lost the warranty, so you're kind of on your own, but when you have a Demon, um, you know, you can run nines in perfect DA at a better track, um, really good weather, you know, shitty tracks, and shitty weather, you're in the mid to high tens, uh, maybe low tens if you get lucky with the weather. But, uh, you know, a 10 second car, even at a shitty track, is really fast. That's, you know, my car's running 10 1 right now, and I've got a decent amount of money into it, but I don't have a warranty. So I think the warranty is really cool. And, uh, like I said, if you haven't, go to Kevin's channel, you can see some of the really cool features of the Demon, and maybe I'll make a video about it, but, uh, some of the features are just really cool for the true drag racer, I think, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below, just a short little vlog today about that, I wanted to talk about the last Demon made, it has been made, and, uh, let me know what you guys think they'll be worth in the, you know, next 20, 25, 30 years, and, uh, let me know what you guys would pay for one if you had the chance. So make sure you guys always comment, like, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for Hellcat content and fitness content. And make sure you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at VanV39. We'll see you guys on the next one.